Serena, not enough room. It's going to be big in Jesus' name. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I mean, that song just didn't prophesy. Like, I wasn't even intended it, but, you know, it happened to be in my feed. I always like, Holy Spirit, what's the song today? And um, I heard a lot of people saying, you know, listen, Lady Jeremiah, we appreciate the shorts. Are we going to have a longer word, <laughs> you know? And so... Um, this is something that I felt in my spirit really strongly. Hey, Lady Miss Beauty, Lady Michelle, RB, God bless you. Um, and so I was like, okay, daddy. So I felt this word in my spirit. Like some of you feel like it doesn't look like nothing. You feel like it would have happened by now. Right. And so, um, what I felt in my Shondo, like things are getting ready to transpire so fast. And I was like, father, what's the word for that? Because prophetic words, you know, for me, you know, you can hear what you hear and I'm grateful for the rhema, like, and, and how he speaks to us. I also love it when he speaks to me through his written words word, his logos. And that's what I want to be able to release to you all. Because when it ain't about Lady Jeremiah, you can say, Father, I'm standing on your word. Your word says, you know, and so that's the basis of this prophetic word. And it just brought everything to life. Hey, Lady Dancing at Life, God bless you. And so the word of the Lord says this, I'm just going to jump straight in. And I believe he's going to minister to you right where you are through this word. Um, because again, you thought that it would have happened by now. And it's like, keep looking and you hear that but it's like for real though, yo, you know what I'm saying? So we find in this text in chapter number 18 in the book of first Kings. And this is like during the time where Elijah was like, yo, you know, it ain't gonna rain. And it was like not raining for like three years. It was drought everywhere. And, you know, they was copping the attitude. And so, you know, he ended up with the showdown with the prophets of Baal and everything like that. And so some of you, the reason why father has me bring that out, like you feel like you've literally, your life has been in a drought, whether it's financially, whether it's, you know, Know, with regards to the pandemic things going on, some of you, you feel like your life has been in a drought from even hearing from him. Your peace has been in a drought. Maybe it's your love life. Maybe it's, you know, your relationships, just friendships. Maybe it's your finances. It's your ministry or even, you know, things with regards to your children, just various areas of your life, your joy, your happiness. You know, it feels like you have literally been in a drought. And not only that, it, it's like a drought would be bad enough, but you find yourself, it's like a a battle like and so he was at this battle this showdown and have any of you ever felt like you've been in a battle and you feel like technically you thought you was winning you know it, it should be a win it should be a victory, right? You know, you you finally got the approval. You finally met someone. You finally opened up your business. You finally, you know, got to smile for a half or two seconds, two weeks, you know, whatever the case may be. Finally, there were some things where you crossed over. And, you know, so you think that it's going to be cool and everything's about to change. So he finishes with this battle and like literally this showdown. And so it says here in verse number 41, after all that was over, and um, it says, Elijah said to Ahab, I'm in the message translation, up on your feet, eat and drink, celebrate, rain is on the way, I hear it coming. And so literally he's like telling him, I hear something coming. And there have been those of you, you know, you felt like something was finally happening in your life and you got bold. Like you were like, look, this is what's happening. I feel it. I sent it. You know, it's turning. And literally, he made this announcement. He was like, not just something that you had on the inside, but you've told other people. And so, you know, he tells them that eat, drink, celebrate. Rain is coming. It's on the way. And I, I, I hear it. And some of you, you heard it. You felt it. You received the prophetic word. And then it says, Ahab did it, got up, ate and drank. And meanwhile, Elijah climbed to the cup of Carmel, bowed deeply in prayer, his face between his knees. And then he said to his young servant, on your feet now, look toward the sea. And so, you know, some of you make comments, you told people, you know, different things that you expected to happen, you know, and they went and they did what you said, like it was really finna happen. And so what happens is now he's telling the servant to go out and check and look. And it says he went and he looked and reported back. I don't see a thing. And that's the ones of y'all that I'm coming for. It's like you made it through the battle. Finally, it wasn't, you know, the easiest thing you've gone through, whatever, whatever you heard the word, you told people and then like, for real, you don't see nothing. You don't see anything changes. You, 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 you don't see anything. 
Like, and it looks nothing like what you were promised, what you expected, what you hoped, what you felt, even what you thought that you heard. And this is a whole prophet, okay? This is a whole prophet. And now he's being told, I, I, I don't see nothing. There's nothing, there's nothing out there. And so it says this, keep looking keep looking. That's my pronouncement to those of you who are here today. Hey, Brother Maurice, Lady um, Cali girl, that's my pronouncement to you today. And that's what Father is saying. Keep looking. Don't lose your expectation. And this is what Elijah told him. He says, not just look, but seven times if necessary. And seven represents the number of perfection, completion. Also, it represents covenant. You know, there's some promises that the father spoke to me. So I'm going to keep looking. And then it also can represent rest, that you're coming into a place of rest. So he's like, look, seven times if necessary. We know that God created the whole earth in the first six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. And some of y'all, y'all been hustling and bustling, getting it done. And I am telling you that by the, I, I've, I've already begun to hear the word for the month of July. You are literally getting ready to come into a place of where some things just come at rest and at ease. Some things are going to pick up speed, but it's also going to be a place where um, things come to at ease. The covenantal promises of the father of the most high God, Jehovah of Elohim are coming to pass in Jesus mighty name. It's happening. It's and so he was like, if you got to look seven times and sure enough, this is verse number 44. Y'all might want to put that in there. Sure enough. Sure enough. Make that declaration today. Show enough. You might want to just put it like show enough. Show enough. Listen, even now as we have 71 people viewing, sure enough, it says the seventh time he said, oh, yes, a cloud. Oh, yes, a cloud. Listen, it, it seemed like it was nothing this time after this time after this time, you know, and you're like, you, you kept looking, but he says, don't stop because your sure enough is coming. And then finally, oh, yes, a cloud. And then he said, but it's very small, no bigger than someone's hand. And it's rising out of the sea. And Elijah said, quickly then on your way, quickly then on your way, quickly then on your way. I am making Making this announcement, this pronouncement, this proclamation for you because you have a quickly then you need to be on your way in the name of Jesus. It says, hallelujah, tell Ahab, saddle up and get down the mountain before the rain stops you. Listen, what's getting ready to come is getting ready so big. You don't want it to completely overtake you. And then you're on pause. Some of you, this is the father giving you a head start for what's about to come. You know, maybe your business has been so slow and he's like prepare because the onslaught you don't want to take you don't want it to take you out he's giving you the opportunity to have a head start when it looks like it might even be a trickle you know I, I don't even know if I can count on this but you know this is your word you'll remember this word and it'll be for you to go on ahead and get a head start in Jesus name before the rain stops you it said verse number 45 things happen fast I want to prophesy decree and declare blessings to you and much love, Lady Risper, that things are getting ready to happen so fast in your life in Jesus' name. We've been quoting that Amos chapter 9, verse number uh, um, 13, hallelujah, that God is getting ready to do it. It's getting ready to happen so fast. Your head is going to swim one thing fast on the heels of another. Blessings on blessings. Well, here's another word for you today. Hey, Lady Tracy Nicole, things happen fast. I want to prophesy to you, things are happening fast. Uh, put that in the chat. Things are happening fast. Things are going to happen and fast for you in Jesus name. It said the sky grew black with wind driven clouds and then a huge cloud burst of rain with Ahab hightailing in his chariot for Jezreel and God strengthened Elijah mightily. I want to prophesy, decree and declare hallelujah that strength is coming upon you unto you mightily in the name of Jesus. You're going to be able to do what you need to be able to do. You're going to be able to get it done. I know you're looking at stuff that you should have completed by now. You should have had it finished 
finished by now, but something is like, Lena, I'm over it. You know, you've been tired of doing the same old, same old, same old, and it doesn't seem like you've had results. But the father is saying, listen, there's some tasks that now it's time for you to complete it. And he is strengthening you. I prophesy, decree and declare strength unto you in the name of Jesus so you can do what needs to be done so that it can happen for you so that you'll be set up so that you'll be ready in Jesus name. Some of you, you need to just finish some of you, you haven't filed your taxes yet. You've been waiting. Some of you, you haven't filed for the LLC, the 501c3. You haven't filed, you know, for, for the business license. You haven't filed for any of that because you're waiting. Some of you, you know, you haven't set up the extra account that you're going to be able to separate things with. Some of you, you're like, I'm going to lose weight when it happened. You've been, with, you know, uh, uh, I'll do it later, you know, and those kind of things. There's things that you could have been, should have been working on. Oh, I'll straighten up the house. I'll get rid of some of that extra mess. I'll go through the storage win. I'll go through the garage win. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a do it. I'm going to do it. But you haven't had the strength for it because so many things have seemed like, you know, you're waiting on them to happen, waiting to see it happen. You know, you watching it, you know, uh, you know, you're looking for it, looking for it instead of trusting. And now is the time Then the father is giving you this heads up so you can get a head start because it's getting ready to happen so fast. You know, not going to have time to get ready. You got to be ready stay ready so you won't have to get ready because it's literally getting ready to happen so quickly in jesus name and so he's saying to prophesy strength unto you strength unto your vessel to push through to press through in the name of jesus so that you can do the things that need to be done and finish in jesus name apply for it go for it listen don't be intimidated whatever you have left that has been like on the back burner you know waiting for you to feel like doing it do it anyway do it anyway do do it with the attitude if you got to do it, you know, feeling like you're tired and you depleted. You're not going to regret it in the name of Jesus. Do it anyway. Come on, Lady Adriana. Do it anyway. You're waiting to feel like this epiphany to get it done, you know. And every morning, it seems like some of you, you wake up more tired than before you went to sleep. And and every day, you know, but but you keep on trying and you're believing. The Father says, this is your head start. Because even when it seemed like there was nothing, and it may not feel like there is any, isn't anything happening right now. Or maybe for some of you, you feel like, oh yes, it's finally happening, but it's so small. Is this even recognizable? Is it even going to sustain? Is this the one? Is it really happening? Listen, he's they, they got on the run. They got on the run, even though it looked small. It was just a small cloud. It hadn't even started drizzling yet. And I just believe that some of you in your life, you feel like it's not even drizzling yet, Lady Jeremia. Like, I don't even know. I'm going to wait to see, you know, like, is it for real? Is this is this a false alarm? Because you felt like it before. You've been looking for so long, but this is the time for you to not stop looking. This is not the time for you to stop checking. And by heaven's, <laughs> heaven's mercy, this is not the time for you to withhold from doing the things that need to be done in Jesus' name. And so the word of the Lord then goes on to say this, God strengthened Elijah mightily. And I just release that unto you now, strength to get it done, strength to make the move strength to complete the task, strength to complete the assignments in Jesus name, strength to get up and do it anyway, whether you feel like it or not, whether it looks like, you know, the same old, same old, or not even a sprinkle yet, do it anyway. Some of you, you've been called to be a content creator, do it anyway. Some of you, maybe you don't feel like getting up to do another video. <laughs> Get up and do it anyway because he's going to breathe on it. You're going to be strengthened. And once you begin, you're going to feel that strength upon you in Jesus' name. Get up, go to the class, get the certification, get the degree, whatever it takes. Go get the license, make it happen because he's going to breathe on it. And when it happens, it's going to happen so fast. Blessings on your state exam in Jesus name. Another woman of God said, confirming in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Get it done. Your boot camp, get it done. Whatever it is, get it done. Because you're not going to have a chance to be able to do it. You know, it's just going to happen so quickly. You don't want it to overtake you and consume you. And then you feel so paralyzed or it makes it harder because, you know, you're drenched and you're soaked, you know. Get the head start while he's telling you. 
It says this, pulling up his robe and tying it around his waist, Elijah ran in front of Ahab's chariot until they reached Jezreel. Listen, there are some people and it feels like, you know, maybe they're going to beat you because they, it seemed like they had it easier. There are some people, and I want to release this, maybe they've been in a relationship longer than you. Maybe they already engaged and you think that they're going to beat you to the altar if that's how you, you know, where you're at and you're concerned about this. But the accelerator that's getting ready to come upon your life because you've been strengthened to run your race, you're going to outrun some people who had a head start over you. You're going to outrun some people who seem like they had more resources than you. And it was just you feeling like you were pulling yourself by your own bootstraps. Come on. It said, he was like, let me tie this around my waist because we getting ready to make it do what it do. I may not have the wheels like you. I may not have the resources like you, but that doesn't mean that it's going to take me as long as you or longer than you in Jesus mighty name father is getting ready to call some of you hallelujah to be ahead of those who seem like they had a head start or had it even easier than you come on the last shall be first and the first shall be last I'm telling you yeah let's get it let's be about it about it and let's go for it in Jesus name even at what seems like it is so small so if you were one of those who I thought it was going to happen by now you heard it you even told people and then that got you feeling a type of way because it's like I told people and it ain't even looking like nothing yet like I, I mean come on like I, I didn't hear it wrong Elijah didn't get to moping he could put his head between his knees to cancel out all the distraction and he got to praying and then he kept looking he kept sending his servant to look and in the process as he kept sending his servant to look when it looked like it was little or nothing it was a cloud the size of a man's hand. It looked like nothing. He didn't wait for the sprinkle. Y'all don't wait till you feels like you see it all happening because you don't want to miss the momentum. You already need to be in position in Jesus name. Yeah, no, you ain't heard him wrong, but it feels like it because it's like, I thought I heard you. Listen, you got to that place. You moved like he said, you know, you got everything packed up and it's like, okay, where's the favor? Okay, where's the finance? I thought the money would be here by now. Or you actually got to your new destination and then it seemed like the bottom falls, it fell out and it's like, didn't I hear you? Or, or you told me to do this with the kids and you know what happened? I started the business like you told me and I, I don't even see, you know, a, a hand. I don't see a check. I don't see a wire, you know, whatever it is. And the father is saying, don't let that cause you to miss out. Keep looking and expecting what I put on the inside of you. And when it, even when it looks like it's small, thank him for it and move upon it in Jesus name. You don't have to wait until you see the rest because you're going to see the rest. You need to get a head start and get ahead of it in the name of Jesus. And so don't feel bad. Don't feel intimidated But for those who seem like they're more resourced than you. They're happier than you. They They've already listened. The prophet, he told him, he was like, eat, drink, and celebrate. Eat, drink, and celebrate. And some of you feel like everybody else is having the celebration and you ain't been able to celebrate nothing yet. You know, it's like, I've just been trying to do what the father been telling me to do while everybody else is having their parties, their housewarmings, their get togethers, they're celebrating their new business. Maybe they're having their bridal showers, their baby showers, their engagement parties, whatever it is. Listen, hallelujah. He is going to move for you. He is going to move upon you in the name of Jesus. And so when you see what you see, get to moving in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And maybe you don't see it yet. Get your head between your knees, remove, block out all distractions, keep praying and keep looking. And you're about to see it's bigger than ever in Jesus name. Don't forsake the day of small beginnings. For those of you where it seems like it's something little, it's not, it's like, okay, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it doesn't even seem like it's anything worth recognizing almost to a degree. And you don't want to seem ungrateful, but it's like, you know, this win, is it even a win? You know, maybe you're so far in debt. Maybe you, are, and that's where they were. They had already been in a drought. So seeing a little cloud, is that really finna take care of everything? Oh yes, it's about to rain and it's about to rain big in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Rain is on the way. I hear it coming. Your blessings are 
are on the way. I hear them coming. Your fulfillment, your answers are on the way. It's coming. Listen, and it's getting ready to be big. Something big is getting ready to happen in your life, for your life, and it won't be long. And there won't be enough room for what he is getting ready to do in the name of Jesus. He is about to cause it to be so magnanimous, so ridiculous in the name of Jesus. Lady Don, you're going to stir me and you're going to get me started. And so, um, hey, blessings to you, Lady Yvonne. This is still a good place to share and invite. I know we've been on here for a minute, but um, so uh, since you on here, Lady Don, I want to release this to you. And so you can receive it in your spirit. Things that I may have mentioned to you, I already feel it like in my Shondo, like so, so big. Listen, that you got July is literally getting ready to blow your mind. You got to get yourself in position, get yourself ready. And some of you, you're going to take a bigger risk than you ever had in your life. And it's going to pay off bigger than you ever imagined in the name of Jesus. There was something that father had told me and I did not do it. I forgot about, I forgot that that's what he said. And then he had me to look at my calendar and I had written it down and I jumped too early and it caused me to miss the move. And then, so I'm looking at what has transpired and it was exactly, it would have been exactly the fulfillment of what he said. And he said, don't get caught up in what you feel like you miss. Get in position because there's another wave on its way in the name of Jesus. And I'm telling you, it is life changing. It is life transforming. If you'll dare to believe him and get in position in Jesus name, she said, I just did that. The risk taking thing. I'm telling you, it's getting ready to pay off. If you do it, he'll bless it. If you build it, he'll bless it and he will blow your mind in the name of Jesus. And so he is telling me to expect it, expect it, get yourself in position. You don't have time to be intimidated or in fear or in regret or in remorse or, you know, trying to shoulda, coulda, woulda or rehashing or thinking about what if it don't do this? What if it don't do that? And some of you, you've been considering all the plan B's and everything else like that. He's like, you heard me go for it go after it in Jesus name. Now, if this word is not for you, you need, or if you're not sure, if it don't bear witness with your Shondo, or maybe you just hoping this to be your word, still go to the father in the name of Jesus, because he will, he will give you, um, he will give you clarity. He will give you insight. He will give you direction. And then he will give you that peace in the midst of, in your Shondo, in your spirit. You may not have all of the revelation yet, but it's something peace in your spirit. And when you just see the little trickle, Listen, that, that that's it for me. He was like, oh, it's a little cloud. Yo, let's roll. L let's roll up. Some of y'all, you need to say, okay, this is, this, is the, this is that word for me. Let me roll up. It's time for me to roll up and roll out in Jesus' mighty name. I'm not going to be intimidated. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to hold off. I'm going to believe him. This is the time of positioning in Jesus' mighty name. And you don't want to miss the move in the name of Jesus. Lady Rowena, I know you. You stepped out. You stepped out on faith and you took a risk. And guess what? It has already begun to pay off for you. There is greater. There is more. Lady Ramya, you stepped out on faith. You took the risk. And guess what? There is more. There are some of you, it seemed like things were stuck. They were stagnant. The doors would just not open. But when you are in the right position, when you have the right move and you begin to do it, there is nothing that can hold you back. Ain't no stopping you now. It's on the move. Like it will bust through. It will break through with such fierceness and with stretch force in the name of Jesus. When you step out on faith, when you take the risk, Lady Gladys, and it seems like something that is so small and you take that risk and you see him do something so big, or maybe you take the risk and it's like, that's it. Like, that's it. I, I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, that's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Watch and be faithful. So be strengthened today. I pray that this word has blessed you. I pray that you have felt strengthened in Jesus' mighty name to go after everything he has for you in the name of Jesus. And don't, for goodness sake, don't forsake the day of small beginnings. I'm telling you, he's doing it. Yes, the harvest is here. It's upon us. But yeah, pushing all the second guessing aside, all the double mindedness. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have time to delay any more time because truth be told, some of you guys have already been waiting long enough. 
It had been a drought for three years. And some of you have been in a drought for what feels like it's even longer than that. This is your word, your release. Hallelujah. That, oh yes, the cloud is here. And even though it seems small, I'm going to move on that. I'm going to thank him for that. Listen, because I am getting ready to celebrate good times. Come on. <laughs> it's a celebration. It is upon you and it is for you in Jesus' mighty name. So go for it. Go after it. The word of the Lord says this. He's reminding me in the book of John, chapter number four, verse number 35. Jesus was like, look, yo, look at the fields. Aren't they white? Aren't they white? Four months before harvest? Listen, I know that some of you have thought that it was going to take longer. You know, you finally just resorted. You know, it is typically, you know, when you build the business, typically, you know, when it's time for you to clean up your credit, typically when you need to save for a down payment, typically when you meet somebody, typically, typically is out the door. We serve a supernatural God who is not limited by man's estimation of things, nor man calculation there is such great acceleration he was like listen the harvest is ready the laborers are few so i'm ready to do what i gotta do to make it happen captain because he is already released it he is already making it happen look upon the fields they're ready four months before harvest in jesus mighty name some of you in jesus mighty name listen there are certain harvests there's the spring harvest there's the barley then there's the wheat harvest and we're getting ready to come to the end of that time but then there's the fall harvest you know those kind of harvests that come in and listen even as the, he's saying right now that look the harvest is ready four months before even the time that we would technically consider it due the time of life but this is the kairos time of god where it overtakes the chronos it's where they collide where your destiny collide where time meets opportunity in the name of jesus it's your day. It's your moment. It's your hour. Hallelujah. Even like the man at the gate called beautiful. Jesus walked there how many times across to get to the temple and he was never healed. But today is the day. And, and when they came and they showed up, they was like silver and gold. Have we none? But such as we have, we give unto thee. And I will give you the gift of faith, even in on abundance, on steroids today. I strengthen you today. Hallelujah. By the goodness of the Lord and the, the beautiful in that term, it's not that the gate was so beautiful. Yes, and it's not that the miracle was so beautiful as it was because he had been lame from birth. But but what was so beautiful about it, listen, regardless of not just the fact that he could begin to crawl and walk and began leaping and praising God, not the fact that he didn't need, you know, prosthetics or anything like what was so beautiful, the actual term, hallelujah, means it was Herreros and Herreros in the Greek. Greek, hallelujah, is a, is a definition for timing, where that means everything that needs to come together comes together so that it can happen. Listen, I'm telling you about the purposes and the promises of God. When he said it's time, nothing can get in the way in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Nobody can block what he is getting ready to do. And he's saying it's ready four months before what would typically be harvest. And so Father is saying right now that even while there's a harvest, there's another harvest. Even the harvest that was coming, is early and it's taking place in this harvest. Sounds a lot like Joel chapter number 225 to me. Hallelujah, where he says, I'm gonna restore the years that the locusts and the canker worm and the palmer worm have eaten. Hallelujah, my great army that I have sent, I'm gonna cause the latter rain and the former rain to rain at the same time. Listen, where it's multiples in Jesus' mighty name, where he's making it up to you. I know it's been a drought, but it's gonna rain because of the former. It's gonna rain in our now and it's gonna rain because of your latter rain. It's all happening at once in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Then the thing happened so fast. Things happen fast. And I want to release that over you in Jesus mighty name that is getting ready to all be happening at once. I know you thought it should have happened by now, but it's happening now. Let me say that again. I know you thought it should have happened by now, 
but it's happening now. Many of you, you're coming into, if not those who this word is right, right, right now for, you've come into the place where the conditions has been met. And he says, it's happening now. So expect it, look for it and move on the first sign a breakthrough. Move on the first sign in Jesus' mighty name, because when it happens, you won't be able to keep up. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Blessings on blessings. You know, in that term, they were talking about farming and agriculture. It was like, soon as you plan in it, the next one is coming to reap it. The harvest was ready. Like, can you imagine, soon as you sow that seed, it's already coming up in Jesus' name. Can you imagine some of you, soon as you meet that person, soon as y'all get on the same page, all of of a sudden you get married, even though it seems like y'all been talking for years, you know, even, can you imagine, even though you've had this business that didn't seem like it was going nowhere, all of a sudden it blow up with so much clientele, you can't even keep up. I'm telling y'all, listen, and I want to release this insight to you for those of you who've been waiting. And um, a father gave me this strategy and I've been delaying. That's why tonight I got on HAPS and I was like, look, yo, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube because I cannot afford to disobey the father any longer. He told me to be active on YouTube a long time ago and then I would just, you know, upload words or what have you. And forever it seemed like um, the it was stuck at 100 subscribers. Then it was stuck at 300 subscribers. And for me, it's not necessarily about numbers other than the fact that that this is father's ministry and I want to be a good steward of it to reach his people, to encourage his people. And I thank those of you who share and invite others so that they can be blessed as well. You help us evangelize and you help us encourage other people. And so it was like, daddy, I can't keep holding back. And he told me, he was like, you need to start releasing these shorts. And that's why I'm doing it out of obedience to him. And he said, as you do that. And so it was stuck with 1700 subscribers. I probably think maybe for a year or close to it. It's been a long time. And since last Sunday. And I believe if I check right now, the last time I checked, it was 900 new subscribers in a week. Listen, there is no limitation. You cannot put a cap on father's increase. That's where it increased over half of what I had in a week. Can you imagine some of you, maybe you made investments or what have you, you know, maybe it was a thousand dollar investment. Can you imagine? And, and it was just that, and it stayed there forever. And all of a sudden, a week later, it's 1500. And then the next week, like it quadruples. Listen, because the exponential increase and the exponential growth. Why? Because of your obedience. Don't put a limit on what Father has going to do. So whatever area that is for you, whether it's marketplace, ministry, business, even hope that you've been trying to inspire other people. Nothing is lost. Some of you, it's going to be in your relationship. It feels like it's little bitty investments. Can I say that they're like a bank and they're going to cause great multiplication in Jesus mighty name. And what seemed like it was not making any progress is getting ready to cause you to go into leaps and bounds in Jesus name because father has all been using. He hasn't lost anything. He hasn't lost track. He hasn't lost count. So get ready to celebrate with the good father is doing in your life in Jesus name. Harvest time is here. Your reign is here. You heard it. You saw it. You announced it. Listen, and now it's time for fulfillment in Jesus name. And so I celebrate you in the name of Jesus that it's getting ready to be big in your life in Jesus name. Let's rock out for a minute. For those of you, if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me, subscribe. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure your notifications are on on for all. You can follow us on Facebook, Lady Jeremia, and on Instagram for also for encouragement is that Lady Jeremia. Don't miss it. I'm expecting Father to do some amazing things for you. And for those of you, if you desire to sow into this word, you can do that at paypal.me forward slash Lady Jeremia or Venmo Lady Jeremia or cash app is dollar sign M Mana one. Listen, I love y'all. It's getting ready to so be, be so big. It's going to be ridiculous.